Tombola, you're obviously not going to win. So um, just check your envelopes, make sure you've got your slip and um, put it put it in here so we're ready to go. So I'm going to say a few words, really, which is uh, a big, big thank you to all our sponsors. Um, uh, this is without a doubt our biggest fun individual fundraising event of the year. And uh, we've been uh, overawed, really, by the... Um, by the response that we've had this year. I mean, it's difficult times. You know, I'm a businessman myself, and I know, you know, we don't want to part with any money unless we've got to, but to get 64 people to enter the draw this year is unbelievable. So uh, thank you all for that, and thank you for your support. Thank you. My next thank you um, goes to the gentleman that kindly um, comes and does the draw for us every year. He's not in the best of health either. He's got a bad knee, and... Um, so thanks to Harry and Sandra uh, for coming. So uh, without further ado, I'll introduce Harry Redknapp. Thank you. Okay, so we're nearly there. How exciting. So the first um, one that's drawn out, the first company that's drawn out, is uh, effectively will be what is the main sponsor of Wimbledon Town Football Club. So I'll just quickly read out here because I'm sure you've all brought these and read them and know exactly what you're going to get, but I will tell you. So the first person drawn out will be effectively the shirt, well, the main sponsor of the football club and their logo, company logo, will be on the front of the shirts of the first team. They do actually get passed down to the reserves for the second year, so they don't get, you actually get two years out of it. Uh, we will provide an advertising perimeter board around the ground uh, your company name will be on the front of the match day program, uh, plus there'll be a page advertisement inside the program. Uh, your company name will be given out over the Tannoy system before each game, and that goes alongside the Kala, who are the new league sponsors. Uh, you get six season tickets for all home games to include seats in the sponsors' stand, half-time and full-time refreshments in the clubhouse, and a complimentary match day magazine. A match day sponsorship package. Uh, which includes extra match day tickets, hospitality, presentation of man of the match, photo of the winning player and sponsor, which will also be displayed in the clubhouse and or, and or at your office, whichever you prefer. And then you'd be our guest of honour at the end of season presentation night. So it's a sad moment for one person, because he's just about to hand it over. <laughs> it's Derek from Champion Fortlifts. So um, I, I'm pretty confident you had good coverage, Derek. Yeah. We've had a lot of coverage in the Echo this year, thanks to the team. We've done excellent. So, um, without further ado, I'll give it a spin, and we'll go with the first winner. So, if the winner could come up, I'll have a photo with Harry, and then I'll take a few details. It's a company called Aquasmart, which is a friend of Graham. So if Graham could come up and get it for him, is that okay? Thank you. Well, well done to them. The heating engineers, Graham tells me. So the second prize, this is the logo on the rear of the shirt, match ball sponsorship with hospitality, pitch side board, which we supply again, and four season tickets with the director's hospitality as before. So again, good luck. This is still a pretty good place on the back of the shirts. Okay, so the third sponsorship prize, this is logo on the shorts, uh, match ball sponsorship with hospitality and again we supply pitch side board. So good luck, fingers crossed on this one, it's the last one. Connell. Oh! Yeah. So just a quick word, Alan has 
been a long term sponsor of the Rugby Club and also um, he was chairman of the youth as well. Just one last word from me. Thank you very, very much for that. And um, you've all got season tickets, and it'll be really, really great to see you. And um, that you'll be amazed. Just um, I know it's non-league football, but we're we're trying to move in the right direction here, and things are going the right way. Steve's put together a really good squad for next season, so we're going to give it a good go and um, see how it goes. But yeah, I'm sure if you could, if you get the time to pop down, please do and enjoy yourself. Now, Harry's kindly um, asked. He's he's quite happy to take some questions and answers. Um, so if anyone's got any questions for Harry, then please go ahead. Anybody? Anybody got a question? Don't be afraid. Go on. Joey Barton. Joey Barton. Next question. No, I was just enjoying myself here tonight. Hey? Um, Joey Barton. Now he's back training, but uh, I think he wants to go back to France. <laughs> I've got to be careful what I say because it'll end up in the paper tomorrow. So, uh, let's hope he gets his wish. <laughs> Anybody else? Steve. Well, I met Steve a few weeks back, and um, we were just chatting about football, and you know, and he was out of work and one thing. So I said, "Oh, come in and uh, and do a little bit of coaching," and that was it, really. Uh, I did it with Tony Adams, I took book Tony at Portsmouth when I was there. Um, Tim Sherwood, Les Ferdinand, I took them in at Tottenham, they were out not working. I think uh, he's a good coach and he just wanted to come and do a bit while he's while he's out of work, you know, so um, keep his hand in really, so that was about it. Um, I had Stevie Cottrell with me last, he was good, good coach, he's looking to get back into management, so there's lots of good lads out there really out of work who, you know, who could, can do a good job if they're given the chance. So that was about it. He's a decent lad. So hopefully uh, he'll do okay for us and we'll do well this year. We're off to Exeter tomorrow. Down to Devon, train down there for six days, play Exeter next uh, first, uh, Thursday night and then come back and play Peterborough Saturday. So we're up and running just like Wimborne Town. We're getting ready for a new season. So, but I think, we do, I think we'll be bang there this year, I'll be honest. You know, it's not going to be easy, but I... I think we'll, we'll take all the beating. Are you going to beat Bournemouth? That would be, I'll tell you what, they're a good side. They're a good side. They're a good side. I was in, you know, I saw a fair bit. I've got to be honest, I thought the other, I thought Paul Groves was unlucky. I know, you know, Eddie came in and did fantastic, Eddie Howard. I, I, I took Eddie to Portsmouth as a player, so I've got a lot of time for Eddie. But uh, the early games that I watched, when, when Grosey was there with Sean Brooks, they were so, every week they were murdering teams, just not getting a break. You know, and sometimes it don't go your way. You know, MK Dons, I, I watched Brentford, last minute penalty. It, and it just, you know, and then Eddie came in and it, it clicked right for him. And it, Eddie's outstanding young manager anyway, so. But I think they'll do well. I think they'll play some good football. You know, Real Madrid would be interesting. <laughs> Oh, well, when is it? When is the game? 21st. 21st. It's a Saturday game, is it? Sunday night. Sunday night. I'll have that Sunday night. That'll do me. I'll have that Sunday night. I'll... Oh, no, I think we're in Austria. We're going to Austria. But um, someone said Bournemouth's looking for a return game in Madrid. I thought that'd be. The Spaniards would flock to that one, wouldn't they? I mean, there'd be about four people there. Anyone else? Last couple. No, we're all okay. Good. Nice to see you all. The years went, the years, every year I keep coming back. Keep getting older and we wonder where the years are going. But to hopefully see you all next year, please, God. Thank you. Um, so just a couple of things. You've all kindly bought raffle tickets. Um, Chris is also going to come up. Chris Batten's going to come up and he's going to kindly do an auction. Am I better off explaining it, Chris, or do you want to explain it? Okay, right. Well, we're going to do the raffle first, and I'll explain what we're going to auction off. So, um, sorry, I should have got Harry to pull the raffle ticket. D Dave's going to... I'll introduce Dave as he comes up as well. This is Dave Varty. Dave's just come on board at the club to help out, and uh, he's the commercial manager. So if he knocks on your door, don't just tell him to get lost. Just, just help him out. 
So the first one, this is for a match sponsorship, so it's worth 250 quid, so hopefully you'll at least get your money back for tonight's draw if you've been unsuccessful. And it's a white ticket beginning in beginning 101. 101 to 105. Ah, good one, Martin. So that's Martin Mabry from Interior Fit. We just won the next one as well. <laughs> so he's drawn again. Oh, thank you, Mike. So this is uh, white. They're all white anyway. It's uh, one four one to one four five. This is for a match match ball sponsorship. So oh, well done, Alan again. Well done. Okay, just quickly before we. Um, before we do the auction, I'd just like to make a quick presentation to Sandra. I won't, I won't embarrass her by bringing her up here, so I'm, I'm going to take them to you. Okay, just quickly, this is almost taking the mickey, but I, I, I kind of feel we ought to do it anyway. And uh, you have all been so generous, so please don't do it if you don't want to do it. Right, if you look out there, you will see we put a new state-of-the-art stand up <laughs> <laughs> between the dugouts. In actual fact, it's, I think I mentioned it earlier, it's for our cameraman Dave, actually, so he's going to video the games from their new vantage point. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that opportunity to put a new scoreboard in, which this is a scaled-down model, 1 to 25 scale model of it. Obviously, I've put my company there, but I'm not in the draw, so I'm not going to win it. So if you see, if I do that, does that work or not? Okay, so what, what it is, it's going to be a new scoreboard, Wimbledon Town versus whoever we're playing, and the bottom part of the board is obviously a unique opportunity to advertise your business to all the fans that face that way. The actual length of it is about, I say roughly, but it's 3.6 metres by 900 wide, so it's a huge advertising board. So Chris is kindly going to auction it. Please, if you fancy it, go for it, if you don't, don't. But um, yeah, so... We'd just be grateful for anything. Thank you. I'll leave it with Chris. Good evening, everyone. This is called a Paul Millet Initiative. <laughs> he said to me yesterday, he's got his new scoreboard, so I can envision it's digital and fully lit and everything else. But if, if Wimborne gets to the third round of the FA Cup and draw QPR at home, it's a good place to be. Um, so just normal auction format. It's, uh, it's very hard to quantify what it's worth. Um, but it's a hundred pounds anywhere, please. Can I have a hundred pounds? Graham, thank you. hundred pounds at the back. It's two hundred pounds. Anywhere in the room, two hundred pounds. Can I have two hundred pounds? I've got two hundred pounds, thank you. Graham, against you at two hundred. Three hundred pounds I have. It's a four hundred pounds anywhere. Can I have four hundred pounds, please? Four hundred pounds, Andrew, thank you. Four hundred pounds for Andrew Whit, Morgan Hampton. It's a £500 anywhere. £400 I've got. It's a £450. It's a £50 anywhere. £50 anywhere. £50, thank you. Against you, Andrew, at £450 at the back. We've got £450. We've got £450. Yeah. So we've we've got the score of the game, Graham. Underneath we've got a logo, which could be you. But it's going to cost you five five hundred. Thank you, Graham. We've got five hundred pounds and Graham Bell. My assistant. Ignore my logo. That will be your logo on that state of the art sign. Five hundred pounds. Is the is the five fifty anywhere? Five hundred pounds I've got. Five hundred pounds. Is the five fifty anywhere? Is the five twenty five anywhere? Can I tempt you? I've got five hundred pounds. Is the five two five anywhere? Five twenty five anywhere? I've got five hundred pounds. It's the five two five. Five two five. Thank you. Five two five. Five hundred and twenty five pounds. From Morgan Hampton. It's a 550. It's a 550. 
Is there 550 pounds anywhere? I've got 525 pounds. 525. There's more money in the state, I won't even go there. 525 the first time. 550, thank you. 550 pounds in Graham Bell. 550. Can I have 575 anywhere? 550 from Graham. First time. 550. So 575 anywhere? Anyone else to be tempted? For the second time. 575 for the second time. Gone. Graham, thank you very much indeed. Last word from me then, just that, again, just to reiterate, thanks ever so much and hopefully we'll look forward to seeing you. We are, we've actually got our first friendly tomorrow at three o'clock against uh, an AFC Bournemouth side. Obviously they're in Zurich, but there's still some good players playing. Uh, I'm sure you've read that in the press, so if you can make it on tomorrow, great. It's going to be lovely and hot and uh, we thank you again for your support. Thank you very much. Thank you.